So we've finished the preparations, we've made our final impressions, we've got our bite registrations, everything we need, and we're ready to fabricate provisionals. We're going to clean our preps uh, with some type of chlorhexidine rinse. We're going to rinse this off to, to uh, this antimicrobial agent to disinfect the teeth, and then we'll go ahead and we'll spot etch the teeth. We put a little etch of uh, phosphoric acid gel right in the center of the tooth, allow that to sit for about 10 or 15 seconds, rinse that off, lightly air dry, and then we'll come back and we'll paint those areas with some bonding agent. Uh, we, we're now ready to go ahead and seed our provisionals, I mean seed our, our matrix. We'll, we'll go ahead and put some material, provisional material. Uh, in this case, we're using pulp dense, uh, tough tint material, which I like a lot. And, and also, uh, uh, DMG has a great product. Um, and uh, uh, Zenith product is, is a really good product. We use that a lot of times, too. And uh, Luxa Temp is their temporary material. And we go ahead and fill our matrix. And one little caution here. If they're a very thin veneer, if it's a minimal prep veneer, you don't want to put a lot of material in the tray. You, that way you'll have a lot more excess. So just put a small amount just in the facial surface of, of the matrix. And then we'll go ahead. And here we see the tough temp. And some of the things I like about it is it's, it's got their new rubberized urethane technology. It self-cures with a light cure option, meaning that if you use a clear matrix, you can go ahead and light cure. You don't have to wait for it to self-cure. It's tough and fracture resistance. It's good for long spans. And it doesn't shrink or distort, which is also beneficial, especially if the restorations are going to be in the mouth for a while. Grips the tooth tightly, and it doesn't, uh, it's very easy to trim. It doesn't gum up the burrs when you're trimming it. And the fluorescence adds some aesthetics to the uh, final uh, temporaries. So after it's been in for about two minutes, we're going to remove the matrix, and we're going to see uh, our, our temporaries, and we'll see a little bit of excess gingival, and every now and then we're going to see a little bit of a, you might get a little void or a little bubble or something like that, and we can take some flowable composite and, and most of these uh, temporary materials have a, a compatible flowable composite. It's really easy to fill these little bubbles or voids in. And then we're just going to shape these and we're going to trim away the excess. 